Uh, this tutorial is about how to interpret land uses on Ordnance Survey Maps and in this tutorial you will learn how to make inferences and how to use land use terminology which I've listed here. So let's begin by looking at this town map here. It is of High Wycombe and I've chosen it because there is a radial pattern of roads, a radial pattern um, spreads out from the centre of a town and I also want to try and infer where the central business district is and I'm going to draw a red line around it. Um, here is the central business district identified by a number of clues. Uh, we have a bus terminus here, we have a town hall and we have a large number of um, large buildings and we can infer that these are either shopping centres or they are um, very large shops which would um, accommodate the centre of the town. Um, there is also a uh, hospital um, near to the CBD. Let's focus now on residential areas and these are the general rules for all maps in in on, on Ordnance Survey maps in Britain. If you have a look at this grid-like pattern of housing here, um, the straighter the lines of roads, usually the older the housing, and here you would find terraced housing, um, which is usually found close to the centre of a town. Further out, you would see roads which are less straight, crescents, cul-de-sacs, and these houses have larger gardens and they're more likely to be semi-detached. Further away from the central business district you will find homes like these, very large gardens, and these homes are detached from one another. These are the more wealthy homes. Um, on this map I want to focus on recreational areas. Recreational um, is leisure and usually indicated by blue symbols on a map. So we have a nature reserve here, national trust, um, land and uh, property, a manor house nearby. And this always indicates a public house or a pub. And there are a number of footpaths um, through this land here which um, indicates um, public access um, through the countryside. Uh, now on this map I want to focus on agricultural land use. Agriculture is another word for farming and we can evidence this by the very large area of white land which indicates farmland and it's also evidenced by um, a number of um, farms here and the land in some places is steep and this probably indicates perhaps um, uh, sheep farming or cattle grazing um, obviously not on the golf course but nearby and where you have areas which is flatter um, you're more likely to find farmland which has crops on because it's easier to access with um, farm machinery. And this map also has a large number of um, footpaths, public footpaths, so you can assume there is um, a lot of recreational activity here too. Uh, this is Beaconsfield and I've chosen Beaconsfield because we can infer that it is a commuter town and I can identify it's a commuter town from the railway station here, uh, the fact that it's close to a motorway, and there is a uh, main road running to the south also. It is a wealthy commuter town because of the very large number of detached homes with very large gardens identified there. Um, so let's see what you've learned. Here is a town map of Rickmansworth, K 
can you identify the recreational land use? Yes, you should be identifying the, um, the boat clubhouse here, picnic site, um, fishing facilities, uh, museum and uh, footpaths here. Central Business District, can you see where that is? Here we go. Um, we've got a uh, police station and a library. Um, we've also got a bus terminus and a railway station there. And um, the other thing I want to point out is this WKS, and that stands for Works or um, Industrial Area. And this will be important for the next map. Uh, and finally, here's um, an interesting map of West Watford. I've chosen this because it shows development on a brownfield site. A brownfield site is one which used to have perhaps uh, factories on, industrial area, um, but some of this has disappeared and they've built homes on it. Now, how can a geographer infer this from this map? Um, so the first clue is this um, railway line uh, which runs west to east um, through. Um, it says railway dis. Uh, that means it's disused. It's no longer an active railway line. There is evidence um, to the southeast of the railway line here of an industrial estate. And in the past it was built here to have access to the railway line. Um, it no longer needs that. It's now got a um, quite adequate um, road that leads onto the main road here. We can infer that this housing here was once an industrial area simply because of its proximity to the railway line. It's also on very flat land and it is near to um, this river um, here probably the River Colne, and that's what industry needed. Flat land, railway access and water. The industry has disappeared and now we've got these very modern looking blocks of housing which are spaced apart, um, good access by road. It's not as dense as the old area of Watford, um, which is this area here, West Watford. This is a um, grid-like pattern of roads. Um, you can almost draw them in. Um, here you would have terraced houses. It would be very dense, close together. So in an exam, you really have to look closely for the evidence and infer what the land is used for now and perhaps what it was used for in the past.